Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Raghavind Mishra and I welcome you all. In this video, we will be building Java application using Jenkins and GitHub. Or in other words, we will pull Java program from GitHub repository and run it using Jenkins. Right? So this is my GitHub repository Java hyphen code inside which I have test.java and let us see what is the content of this uh, test.java. So it has couple of uh, print uh, ln statements. So I'm exp I mean, once we pull this uh, Java file in the Jenkins and execute the Java, uh, we are supposed to get all these three statement, right? And hello from the GitHub in between. Okay, so this is uh, the output we are expecting when we uh, pull this uh, Java file in the Jenkins uh, and execute it. Okay, so how to pull the test.java from the GitHub? Okay, using Jenkins. So let us create a Jenkins job and uh, java project dot hyphen get i can give any name okay let us go with this name java project hyphen get you can give xyz or anything you want and inside which we are going to go and go to the source code management you can skip all other um, options as of now you you are not required or you are not supposed to uh, add or check anything let us go with the default okay and go to git uh, repository in the source code management section okay so what should be the repository which we have to enter here so let us go to github repository once again and go to your repo java code just click on the code on the top uh, right side you see a code right just click on this a particular button and you will get HTTPS SSH just copy this HTTPS github uh, repo okay so let us copy this and paste it over here as a repository URL for the file okay and then please enter yeah so it has accepted and since it is public repository you don't need to you know enter your username and password I have already entered my username and password for the get you can just if you have not added just in case of the private repository right you can do uh, Jenkins you can click here and go to this username and add that uh, uh, credentials over here and give some display name in the description okay I'm just cancelling it for now and uh, it has taken my github repository URL you can see over here and uh, then what I'll do here this is very important to step okay branches to build you have to be very specific like from which branch you are going to uh, uh, pull the code from so this is going to be main okay instead of master I'm, I can give main if it is a master or something other or if you have created uh, a repository with different name or um, basically the branch with a different name you are supposed to give that a uh, name over here okay for now I can give mention main and then then what you have to do you have to go to the build step okay so with this my java will be pulled and when this is pulled in the build artifactory right i will get my java program whatever is pushed or whatever is uploaded i mean whatever is uh, there in this repository java uh, hyphen code okay we have taken this particular uh, github repository url you can see till here we have already copied into the Jenkins job, right? So java codegit is the URL. Then you can go to the build step. And here, what you have to do? Execute Windows batch command. So there are certain things I'll, I'll let you know about that. So how you run your Java program, you should be very clear and particular about, uh, I mean, uh, those statement, okay? For now, I can verify two things over here. So I will go to the CMD. I can go with git CMD and I can just make sure if the git is installed in the system. Yeah, so I should be able to see the output of this git command. Okay, otherwise you may see some problem or issues while running this uh, uh, program Jenkins job on the Jenkins UI. Okay, so just make sure git is installed in your windows and you are able to execute this command. And second thing is, Second thing is you also make sure Java is installed on your system. 
so how you run java program you run with the java this is the way to compile the java program okay and this is how with this command you execute the class file okay once compiled so java c java c and test uh, whatever test dot java okay provided i mean it is there in this path okay so this is the way and then for running you have to execute java okay so with this command with this command i mean it it is not finding the main class which is why it is uh, throwing the exception on the command prompt but uh, no issues we are we have not at pulled those test dot java right so here here in the jenkins jenkins job configuration you are supposed to give java c couple of commands right to execute i mean compile this test dot java let us see the exact name of that file capital yeah it is windows so it should be yeah so java c and the next subsequent command should be once compiled everything is okay i should be able to execute and get the output of that command which is hello from which is hello from github okay let us see the content of that file again okay so this is how it should be so i will go ahead and click on apply and save okay and just make sure make sure this git whatever i have told you right is installed on the system windows system and also just make sure this is that path is added into the jenkins tools configuration okay global configuration so just go inside this system configuration go to the tools and just make sure the git repository or git path particular exe path is set so here the git the location of the git is here okay so inside this configuration git installation inside configure tools just make sure you have given the right path of git.exe which is why we are we are able to you know run this command also okay from the git cmd or from any other cmd your regular cmd okay i should be able to execute this command all right so now we are all set and just go back to the jenkins job which is supposed to pull the test.java and execute it okay so let us go to let me just uh, configure it again and uh, see if i have given the git credentials though it is public just make sure it is public okay if it is public then you don't need to worry if it is public repository yeah you can see it is public repository right otherwise you have to enter the credentials to that repository okay so here i have uh, given my credentials uh, so which is ragvin mishra and git uh, and that is what i am telling i mean it is not required at all like in case of public repository uh, repository but yeah anyway we can go ahead with this also we are all set now let me execute this jenkins job jenkins job and see how it goes so i have uh, click on build now okay and it is executing and it has been successful let us see the output of this okay so you can see it has pulled something uh, this repository and let us see the console for the same and we are expecting that output right hello from see we have we were able to successfully um, pull the github repo which is uh, uh, which is this yeah we are able to this particular java jenkins program jenkins job is able to successfully able to pull the github repository and when the repository is pulled we have executed this particular you know java okay we have executed we have compiled this test.java okay and we have we were able to you know run this java program as well and see the output over here and it is finished as success cool okay and let us go to this uh, here and then we'll see the workspace and the last build and uh, console output we have seen and uh, then we can see the last build yeah everything is proper here proper here 
we can go to the uh, workspace and we can see what all build artifacts are um, build artifacts are there so we were able to you know uh, able to successfully pull the github repository okay which is why you can see and even when we have compiled this okay so you may see some of the class file from the previous run uh, with the previous you know job same kind of job which i have deleted which is why hello world dot class is also there but when you delete this and recreate and you may see uh, some of the other okay you can clear it off also from the repo uh, artifactory okay so this is your java okay you can all uh, file in zip okay and you can just download also okay whatever you have executed okay so i'm just extracting and this is your project okay so which we have pulled from the github so that's it from this video and i hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in comment section and uh, i will see you in next video till then keep learning and thanks for watching